Alright guys, in this video I'm going to be showing you how to unlock these aircraft as well as getting gold medals on all the vehicular mayhem challenges. So first of all you want to do this mission called Executive Orders, that's how you're going to unlock the Chrome Void and the Void. In this mission here where you basically have to jack this ship here and then land it, you're going to unlock the Chrome Void which is my favourite, it's really easy to be honest. All you need to do is fly over to the Statue of Zinyak there and actually land it. So after this I'll be telling you how to get the normal Void. So to get the normal void all you need to do is do the following mission which is a UFO mayhem and you only need to get bronze in it so it's really really easy. You will need to get gold if you want to get the XOR hover bike but you can go back and do these again. They are really fun these challenges, they're quite hard actually in the UFO, you need to keep your combo up but once you've done that you will get the vehicle UFO unlocked and this is the normal void here, it's really cool. And after that I'm going to be showing you all the locations for the actual vehicular mayhem. So there's six locations in the map. You get two mech suit mayhems, then you get two UFO mayhems, and then two tank mayhems as well. The gold challenges are actually really difficult, so I'm going to be showing you tutorials for the last three, all the hard ones, in just a second. So familiarise yourself with the locations, and I'll see you in a sec. Alright guys, first of all I'm going to be showing you the Mech Mayhem Hard Challenge and this is really easy, all you want to do is just keep moving forward, holding R1 and pressing R2 constantly so whenever there's a rocket ready it's going to be hitting something. It's really easy to keep your combo up on this one just because you're so close to the ground so you can kill people or the cars or all of the things in red are the ones you want to go for as they give you the most money. So it's really easy to be honest with this one and really fun as well. I'm not sure if you can actually unlock the mech suit in game yet, I haven't found out how so if you can I'll be letting you know. I'll see you again when we're doing the tank mayhem. Kenzie's recording this. Destruction always relaxes. Now we're going to be looking at how to complete the hard tank mayhem and get gold. This one's really difficult. You just want to keep holding down your laser beam and then using your rockets whenever you can. The important thing is to get a really high combo. You want to get one or two combos of at least 50. And to do that, you just want to keep moving. If you stay still, you're probably going to get blown up eventually. So just keep moving forward slowly, getting all those red targets and every other target that you can see. If you keep going around the level, eventually you are going to get it. 
the only thing is not running out of time so like I said definitely just keep going towards all the red things as you go towards the red things you're going to get a lot of different targets so if you're finding it difficult and you've got any questions just let me know and I'll definitely try and help you out. Say hello to Zanyak for me. Oh, they would have made Gat proud. Way to unwind. President. So finally we're going to be looking at how to get gold on the hard UFO mayhem and this is actually really fun, it's one of my favourite challenges in the game. You're using the chrome void which is awesome and you've got two really really good weapons. So what I would suggest doing is always flying to your red targets. When you're at the targets you want to try and get as many things on your combo as you can. So when you're actually shooting red targets you'll find that other cars will appear on the floor. If you're not shooting red targets you'll find that all the cars will just disappear. So what you want to do is go slowly when you're at the red ones so that you can hit all the normal targets as well. And as soon as you see that it's all dried up and there's nobody there, get straight into flight mode and move on to another red target. This is going to take you quite a while, this one, so the more you do it, the more you're going to refine your tactic. After you've done it a few times, you're going to remember where all the red targets are and you just need to incorporate that into your route. Like I said, don't fly too fast. If you see other cars, then you definitely want to blow them up because you won't have enough points if you just shoot the red things. You definitely need to kill all of the red things though, or at least I did in this and I only just made it. But once again, if you've got any trouble with this one, you've got any questions, just let me know and I'll try and help you out. And once this is complete, you will have the XOR hover bike.
Only thing more relaxing is dancing. What's better this way? I like that button. That's why I get paid the big bucks. Looks better this way. This has to piss you guys off. Yep, I'm satisfied. So once you've completed all of the vehicular mayhems, you're gonna get the XOR hover bike, and like all the aircraft, you're gonna find it in your heliport, which is in all gateways. So you need to be about level 10, I think, to actually unlock that. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. The next video I'm gonna be doing is gonna be about the season pass and the rectifier anal probe gun. Please like and subscribe, and I'll see you then.